Just minutes after Xavier was shot, Alderman Brandon Bosley told us he was tired of talk and ready for action to stop the violence in St. Louis. But can we expect any different policing strategies? Our Chris Davis spoke one on one with police chief John Hayden to find out and he continues our team coverage. Chris. Well, and we actually sat down with Chief Hayden yesterday afternoon and then just about 30 minutes later, seven year old Xavier Usenga was shot and killed and that became our lead story. His death becomes the 122nd homicide in St. Louis this year. And if we stay on this pace, it could be one of the most violent years in city history. We've had seven homicides in just six days in St. Louis. And so far, none of them have resulted in arrests. It's very difficult to turn the corner on that. We really need help from the public. Homicides are up in St. Louis. So far this year, we've had 10 more than we did last year with 122. Since Police Chief John Hayden took control of the department, he's emphasized the use of hotspot policing. The strategy is to saturate three different zones of the city with more manpower to cut down on crime. So far, two of the three have seen some success. So I'm pleased in both the, the one centrally located and the one Dutchtown Gravel Park, both are, are experiencing a decrease in homicide. But Chief Hayden's rectangle in North City has seen 30 more homicides this year compared to this time last year. Does that mean maybe some resources need to go back towards that northern rectangle? Sure. We're approaching the last quarter of, of the year, and, and certainly I've, I've, I've played in many games where we were behind in the last quarter, so we're going to be readjusting some efforts. Many crimes don't happen in the rectangles at all. Like seven-year-old Xavier Usenga's death, that happened just a few miles from the northern rectangle. Our other area is being neglected if it's really being forced into kind of three main areas there. They're not being neglected, they're just not getting the emphasis that, that, that those areas are getting. And so again, like I said, I didn't, I didn't take officers out of those districts in order to accomplish that goal. We went through special assignments. That being said, his police department is still 150 officers short in a region with plenty of other police departments that pay more and let you live wherever you'd like. Well, I would think that the biggest recruitment barrier is the residency role. We're the only police department in the region that has, that has a residency requirement. So with limited numbers, Hayden is expected to do what so many before him have been unable to accomplish crack down on crime. Long term, do you feel like the hot spot policing strategy is working and needs to be continued? Absolutely. So the focus on places that have traditionally been very violent is legitimate, and I think we just need to fine tune that. Now, of those seven homicides in the last, last six days, Chief Hayden tells me he believes at least six may be directly related to drugs. They're not sure on the seventh, which was Xavier's death last night. They're still sorting that out, but they believe that plays a big role. And, and you wonder how, if they could do their job better, if they would have 150 more officers on the streets, how much better they could do their jobs. That's the first time I've ever heard the chief really come out and say he's against the residency rule. He hopes that the Board of Aldermen will take um, action on that, but that may not make it to a St. Louis ballot until next November, and there could be a lot of crime that happens in right. between. Well, and you still have the pay gap between them and some other, you could argue, safer areas where people could go get jobs as officers. Absolutely. Not a one-solution fix, that's for sure. All right, Chris, thank you. First responders, they're the first